Let's learn when and where to see turtles. Turtles need our help. All of Ontario's turtle populations are declining and are at risk of becoming extinct. It takes about 60 years to replace just one turtle, and road mortality is the biggest risk they face. To help turtles and avoid injuring them on the roads, we must know when and where turtles will be. First, let's take a look at where to keep an eye out for turtles. Anytime you are driving in a natural setting, it's a good idea to be alert for all wildlife, including turtles. The average territory of a turtle in Ontario is about 8 kilometers squared. In the land between, there is 0.78 kilometers of road in every square kilometer of land. In southern Ontario, you can't go more than 1.5 kilometers without hitting a road. So turtles can't avoid roads, they have to cross them for many reasons throughout the year. Turtles in Ontario are mainly aquatic and feel most comfortable when in or near water. Therefore, we need to look out for turtles when driving near rivers, lakes, and especially wetlands. Turtles will often cross the road where the wetland is on either side, because the road has dissected it. When approaching low-lying areas as the road dips, be aware of turtles ahead, looking for dark, moving rocks. Turtles move so slowly that if you drive looking ahead, keeping your eyes relaxed and your gaze wide, you will be able to spot a turtle in the distance. And if you are following traffic, this knowledge and method will also help you to stay safe as you watch for turtles. Now let's take a look at when to watch out for turtles. Depending on where you are located, these timelines can change. In early spring, turtles emerge from hibernation and need to warm up through basking on rocks and logs. So they stay in their wetlands for a while. Some baby turtles, such as painted turtles, can overwinter in their nest. Be on the lookout for emerging hatchlings in early spring. By late April and early May, turtles start moving away from their wintering sites to find mates and to reach their summer feeding areas, or to get to the other part of their wetland. During the spring and early summer, turtles are likely to be crossing the road in the morning if the temperature is above 17 degrees Celsius. Usually, turtles stay out of the hot afternoon sun because they can become too hot, which is dangerous for them, and can also quickly become dehydrated. So most turtles will wait until late afternoon and evening to venture out again. In fact, turtles are rarely seen on the road if the temperatures are above 27 degrees Celsius. However, no matter the temperature during these months, if it is raining, turtles are likely to be on the move, and therefore crossing roads, because they are most comfortable in wet conditions. The beginning of June is peak nesting season, and there is much more activity near and on the roads as female turtles are drawn to the sand and gravel along the shoulders, which seems ideal for laying their eggs. Some turtles, like snapping turtles, nest during rainy mornings. Many turtles nest during the evening, starting around dusk. Nesting is a very vulnerable state for turtles as they are weak, dehydrated, and it can take hours. After nesting, turtles are exhausted. During the month of June, we need to pay attention to road shoulders for big rocks that are near grassy edges. When females are finished nesting, they venture onto the road, but not to cross. Instead, they are simply doing a long, slow U-turn back to the water behind them. Therefore, if you stop to help a turtle in June, if she is wobbly and weak, or if you notice a discolored patch of soil that could be a fresh nest, instead of helping her across the road, help her back towards the wetland. At all other times, the best practice is to help the turtle in the direction it is heading, because turtles are following traditional routes and navigating according to spatial memories. If they are turned around, they will simply go back on the road to cross in the direction they were heading. Nesting season usually tapers off by the first two weeks in July, and this time of year is quite hot. Turtles are less active and are likely to stay in their summer homes such as lakes and wetlands where it is cooler and calm. Late August into September is when many baby turtles hatch and many of these nests are at the side of the road. Hatchlings are very small. For example, painted turtle hatchlings are about the size of a loony. Keep an eye out for these tiny turtles at this time of year, which look like little rocks with tails. Hatchlings are very susceptible to being run over and also to becoming dried out on the roads. 
For this reason, hatchlings should be moved to the nearest body of water to where they are found. Hatchlings have an imprint of their nest site and are beginning to record spatial memories to water. In the fall, turtles will be returning to their overwintering sites, beginning in September as the days get shorter. This activity seems to peak around Canadian Thanksgiving, when numbers of turtles on the roads increase again. If you spot a turtle on the road while driving, straddling the turtle with your tires can result in the turtle being injured. Snappers may jump or snap to defend themselves, while other turtles may try to run away or freeze, keeping them on the road longer. Swerving around the turtle is also dangerous for any oncoming cars and can pose a risk for the cars behind you. We always want to alert other drivers using hazard lights, by pumping the brakes, using hand signals, and if possible, we want to stop and help the turtle when it is safe to do so. Always help the turtle cross in the direction they were traveling, unless you are lucky enough to see a wobbly female who has just finished nesting in the month of June. And never relocate a turtle to a new area. This is extremely stressful for a turtle and can result in their death as they try to find their way back home. Want to learn more about how you can help turtles? Visit our website, turtleguardians.com.